All right, cash flow schedules. What is this all about and how will it help you? Well, there's two types of cash flow schedules. The first you may have heard about, and that's your cash flow out schedule. That is just basically a cash flow of uh, on a weekly basis based on your budget. And that's necessary as part of um, your funding, uh, financing, generating confidence, letting the financiers know you what you letting them know that you know what you're talking about. And then we have the loan analysis schedule, which um, is a combination of the cash flow out and cash flow in. This whole thing, knowing how to do these two types of schedules, knowing the terms, knowing what it's about, really helps generate confidence all around. There are certain tips that I have in here that uh, will make your life much easier. Um, and again, I think the biggest win out of this is having a template you can work with and then showing financiers and showing people that you're uh, looking for money from that, hey, you're the guy that knows what you're talking about. So basically what I supply you with is a working budget here. It's in PDF format and this is based on a, a real budget that was made. It's actually shot and I have a, a cash flow here. It's somewhat of a template. You need to know how to use sums and divides and things like that at, at a cross in order to really make use of it. But uh, I walk you through how I made this schedule and why I did what I did. It has little tips in it all the way through. And at the bottom especially there's uh, the additional tip of don't forget the cash flow. Things like petty cash floats, refundable deposits, union and guild bonds paid out, things like that. And then you cash flow it all and then you come down to boom there's my budget or my amount that I want to cash flow. Because in this particular one there are deferrals that you don't have to cash flow. Which is very common in indies. And then we get to the loan analysis schedule where we utilize that amount of cash flow out. This money right here. And then we start having a look at what kind of money can we get in from the types of financing we want to get. So we always know we got the tax credits, at least we hope so. And we've got the distributor, we've got some equity, we've got foreign equity, we've got foreign pre-sales. All right, so now when is this money going to arrive? And that's why we've got the timeline on the side and when it arrives. Uh, basically we find out where the holes are so we know we need this much money and we got this much money what's the difference and that difference is what we have to borrow and this is what the banks do right they just do it like that and because a lot of your time a lot of the time your money doesn't come in the bulk of the money does not come in until you actually show the feature film in the theaters and that's when a lot of this promised money, minimum guarantees they're called, actually arrives. And then of course the tax credits sometimes will arrive even after that. Depends where you go, what sort of tax credit you have. In the meantime, you're carry, carrying this loan. Now what the schedule does for you is that it allows you to estimate the interest charged. And I tell you how that works. Basically on this template, I have prime plus risk, which you can just change, and you get the loan rate, and then you get the daily interest rate spread over 365 days, because these rates are annualized rates that they give you. And uh, it calculates it across. If this changes to 3, if you'll notice down here, this says 374. If I make this a 3, bam, it changes the schedule. All right, so now... This is all in the course, um, and the templates, and the um, there's also a calendar, which I go over in detail, because knowing your calendar is fundamental to a cash flow, because fundamental to a cash flow is the week-to-week -week cash needs, cash requirements. All right, so that's the um, the course in a nutshell. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.